Hello, it's time for Tips and Tricks Tuesdays with Lynn Allen, and I have some good tips for you today. These tips have to do with commands that you use all the time, and I find that people don't know about these cool features that were added into these commands because we have a tendency to use our commands the same way we've used them, release after release after release. So let me clue you in on some very cool things. So taking a look at the screen, I have some basic lines on the screen. We're going to be looking at three commands in particular, trim, extend, and fill it, and let's face it, we use those commands all the time, right? So I'm going to start off by going into the trim command, and what I'd like you to notice is, is that this option of select all on there, that was added in a couple of releases ago. When it asks you for the cutting edges, we're used to going in and selecting the cutting edges, but what you may not know is you can just simply hit the enter key, and that will assume that everything on the screen becomes the cutting edges, which is, in most cases, works just great. Now the only trick is that nothing on the screen highlights, so you're not really convinced that you did it right, so you're just going to have to go with it, you're just going to have to believe. Go with the force, because I promise you, everything has become a cutting edge, even though it's not highlighted. So now I'm going to come in here, and I'll go ahead and uh, select from here to here. And you'll see that it worked great, right? No surprise. It worked absolutely great. So save yourself some time. When you go into the trim command, just hit an extra enter and see if that doesn't work for your cutting edges. That will shave a step off of the trim command. And the same is true for extend. Let's go into the extend command. I'm going to type it all out. Don't send me emails, because I didn't use the alias, just so we're all on the same page. So I'm going to go in the extend command, says select boundary edges. Once again, I'm going to hit an enter. Nothing highlights. I'm not convinced I did it right. But sure enough, I find as I move my cursor up here, no problem. I can extend all of those lines. Okay. And I could have done that with the fence. Could have done it with crossing. In this case, I did them one at a time. Okay. So that's extend and that's trim. So last but not least, taking a look at the screen in the upper left-hand corner here, you'll see that, that uh, I, need to I want to square this off. And we do that a lot, right? We need have lines that we need to square off. And usually we go into the fillet command with a zero radius. Well, realizing that that was the case, Autodesk several releases ago made it easier for us to do it, but many of us just didn't notice that nice change. So I'm going to go in the fillet command, and I'm going to go ahead and select the first line. And if you take a look at the command prompt, you'll see that there's this cool option of shift, select, to apply a corner. I'm going to hold the shift key down and just grab the other line and sure enough I don't have to set a radius, I don't have to do that extra step, it just automatically squares off that corner. I love that. So I want you to remember this but next time you go into the fillet command, next time you go into the extend command or the trim command, take advantage of these cool options that allow you to save extra steps and you might just get your projects out the door a little bit faster. Thanks for joining me and have a great rest of the week.